Hallelujah. Are you ready to dance for the Lord? Jesus will lift your name on high. Your name on high. He lifted high. We lift. Jesus will lift your name on high. Your name on high. Father, take your 
of praise. Take your glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Your love has taken over me. And I'll ride and bend on you. I have confidence in you. To you, oh Lord. hallelujah let's lift up our hands to our father in heaven for this beautiful day another beautiful day in his presence lift up our hands his love has taken over us and my life depends on you i have confidence in you in you oh lord i put my trust let's lift up our hands to the god who we trust for this beautiful day he has made for you and i thursday the sixth day of may 2021 let's lift up our hands and say thank you father for this beautiful day this beautiful hour this beautiful moment for this wonderful day that you have made we return all the glory all the honor all the praise to your holy name you are faithful you are kind you are merciful and gracious blessed be your holy name in jesus precious name amen i want to welcome every one of us to part to triumph this day thursday the sixth day of may 2021 to god alone be all the glory now this morning let's go to, go before the lord let's ask for a word acts chapter 20 verse 32 all time scripture tells us and now brethren i commend you unto god and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified so this morning Let's go before the Lord. Let's ask for that word. That word of grace that is able to build up and give me an inheritance. Lord, I ask for the word of grace which is able to build me up and give me my inheritance this morning. I 
ask for that word of grace. Let the word build me up. Let the word give me my inheritance this morning. In the name of Jesus, I connect to you, Father, this morning for my inheritance. I take my inheritance via your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, King of glory, because the scripture cannot be broken and your word cannot fail. I give you glory. I exalt your holy name. I honor and adore you, magnify and adore you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for everything that you have done. You have done all things well. Blessed be your holy name in Jesus' precious name. Now, one more time, good morning. Welcome to Power to Triumph. This morning, we are streaming live on two platforms, Sonny Adeni Ministries channel on Facebook, Sonny Adeni Ministries page on Facebook. If you haven't liked and followed the page, please like the page and follow it. Also streaming via Sonny Adeni Ministries channel on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed and clicked on the notification bell, please do so. You'll be automatically notified every time we come on that platform hallelujah to god alone be all the glory this morning i believe god for his power to flow through this platform to reach you i believe god for your testimony to our to, to to arrive this day i believe god that this day goes well for you the hand of the almighty god goes ahead of you this day to make this day a good beautiful day for you in the name of jesus today you are breaking through to the right breaking through to the left breaking through on all sides in the name of jesus now i feel somebody there's some tightness around you financial tightness i don't know what that is you are everywhere you look it's so financially tight i have a word of the lord for you this morning this morning by the power of the holy ghost god will be liberating you Whatever is causing that financial tightness, just make sure you are a tither, just make sure you are a giver to God and to man. This is the way out. But this morning, that power of tightness around your finances, I break by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, two quick things to do this morning. Uh, the, um, this morning we're streaming live so make sure you take the stream share reach out to somebody that is the new normal way of evangelism reach out to somebody share on your page in your instagram your facebook invite somebody to join us on this platform this morning secondly i'll be recognizing a few of us on um facebook and a few of us on youtube as we go to pray this morning there are so many people connected so but i'll just Call a few names that I see and then we go on to uh, go to pray. Now on Facebook, I see Mama Miriam Lewis. God bless you, ma'am. I see Sister Njide Harris Eze. God bless you, ma'am. I see Brother John Nduka. I see Sister Eunice DK, Sister Pat Abaleke Nwakama, Mama Betty Brown, uh, Mama Chama Chebuka, Elder Adebayo Cole and uh sister Sh rachel shonyolu sister mandu ikpang sister rawa tracy good morning welcome to power to triumph this day and on behalf of the rest of us who are on facebook that i couldn't reach i welcome you all to face to power to triumph this morning it shall be your best day ever in the name of jesus now on youtube couple of us are also connected this morning on youtube i see mama mary mary chuku sister claudia Kalik, sister toya Coates, i'm strong as sister book your lodger sister adefunke adebigbe sister delcina Lee, Sister Elizabeth Kang, Minister Momumi Akintobi, uh, Sister Rebecca Obioha, Sister Hava and Kechi Ayola. Good morning, everyone. And the rest of us who are on uh, YouTube this morning, may the hand of the Lord bless you. May His glory cover you. This day goes well for you because you have honored God in the name of Jesus Christ. Now the Lord has prepared a word which I have put on slide. Three quick words from John chapter 10 verses 30 to 36. This word bless me. It will bless you this morning. You can take a quick picture of it. Use it for your personal devotion a little later or otherwise you can go to the YouTube channel Sonia Adeni Ministries. They are all put there in the notes section for you. So you can take make use of it after now. Now brethren, uh, three quick words from John chapter 10 verse 30 to 36. Verse 30 says, I and my father are one. What a bold statement. <laughs> I am my father. <laughs> I and God are one. That's what Jesus said. 
and there was a violent reaction. Can I let you know, when the truth is spoken, the enemy reacts violently to the truth. Why? He hates the truth. The Bible calls him the father of lies. So, the devil thrives in lies. Everywhere there is a lie, the devil is going after it. That's all he does. He thrives in lies. He looks for lies. He does everything he does is lies. That's why every time the truth is revealed, boom, he fights it and attacks it. So, I am my father and one. Jesus said that. Look at what I, I, I wrote here. I said, this is the clearest statement of Jesus' Jesus' divinity he ever made. Jesus and his father are not the same person, but they are one in essence and nature. Thus, Jesus is not merely a good teacher. He is God. His claim to be God was unmistakable. The religious leaders wanted to kill him because their laws said that anyone claiming to be God should die. Nothing could be could persuade them that Jesus' claim was true. So, like I said, the devil fights the truth. Everywhere the truth is exposed, the devil goes against it. He fights it. That's why you the enemy is fighting you. Why? The truth in you, the truth of the word of God in you. That's what the enemy is attacking. And I decree by the authority in the name of Jesus, just like the purpose of Jesus could not be defeated, no matter how hard the enemy fought. He fought and fought and killed him, but he didn't defeat the purpose of God in his life. No, the purpose of God in your life will never be defeated. As long as you stand on the truth of the word of God, no matter how hard the devil fights, it will never defeat the purpose of God in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now look at the second scripture, verse 31. And I'm going to show us something. So what, what happened? Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him hmm. after that statement they reacted violently and took up stones to stone him now why did they do that let me show us one scripture from leviticus chapter 24 verse 16 here's what the scripture says and he that blasphemed the name of the lord he shall surely be put to death and all the congregation shall certainly stone him as well as the stranger as he that is born in the land, when he blasphemed the name of the Lord shall be put to death. Now, the reason why they took up stones to stone Jesus was they thought that he was blaspheming. So they took up stones because their law says that. The Pharisees, their law says, take up a stone, stone it. That's why they took up a stone and stone it. But did that do anything to him? Could they stone him? No. They couldn't stone him because... He was standing on the truth. Can I tell you, the strongest platform to stand on is on the truth. Stand on the truth. Live on the truth. What is the truth? Your faith. Your work with God. That The fact that Jesus died. That's the truth. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. So the truth is Jesus. The truth is your belief in him. The truth is your confidence in him. Stand on that word. Can I tell you, no matter, like, like uh, an anchor that holds a ship, ties it down. The truth you know will tie you to Jesus, will hold you in the day of trouble. And when the troubles come and all of that, that truth will hold you down. I decree this day, in the name of Jesus, no matter how hard the devil is fighting your destiny, you shall be preserved. I said, you shall be preserved. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall be preserved. No matter how hard the devil fights, you shall be preserved in Jesus' name. Let's take the third quick word. This is so beautiful this morning. Now, let me read what I wrote. The Jewish leaders attempted to carry out the directive found in Leviticus 4, 24, 16, which I just read, regarding those who blaspheme God. They intended to stone Jesus, but they could not because their claims were not true. So, you cannot be punished based on a lies. In other words, no matter the lies that the devil puts together and tries to attack you, he may succeed at first, but ultimately, it will 
turn around in your favor. Kali Bruhundia, it will turn and in your favor. You begin to see light before your eyes. What did what happened here? They lied against Jesus. They did all they could. They pursued, killed him. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. He's the liar. He's a thief. He's this. He's that. They did all that. They killed him. But just at the nick of time, they were at God just turned the tape tied around and showed it to them. You are actually fulfilling my agenda. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, no matter the attack of the enemy upon your life, the agenda of God for your life shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Let's take the last word this morning as we go to pray. John 10, 34 to 36. Look at what the scripture says. Verse 10, 34 to 36. Chapter 10, 34 to 36. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are God's. If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, ye say of him whom the Father had sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemer, because I said I am the Son of God. Hmm. Let me show us the scripture. It will bless you this morning. Psalm 82 and verse 6. Look at what the scripture says in Psalm 82. I have said... Ye are God, all of you children of the Most High. Is that talking? Is that in your Bible? Is that in your Bible? I have said, Ye are God, all of you children of the Most High. I have said, Ye are God, all of you, all of you, not some of you, all of you children of the Most High God. I have good news for you this morning. If you are a child of God, can I let you know you are a God to the devil in this world? You are a God. There is a God status in you. As God is in heaven, he has put you here on earth as a God to rule, to have dominion. So take dominion. Stretch forth your hand. Take dominion this morning. Begin to rule over every element of the world that had ruled over you. Over the lies of the devil. Over every attack from the gate of hell. Begin to rule over them in the name of Jesus Christ. I have said, I put up that scripture again. I have said, ye are God's. All of you, children of the Most High. So this day, your God status begins to emerge in the name of Jesus. Um, let's <laughs> take down what I wrote before we go to pray this morning. I said here, I said, the Israelite rulers and judges were called gods in Psalm 82 verse 6. If God called the Israelite leaders gods because they were agents of God's revelation and will, it is equally right. It is equally right for us to claim our God status today, having been bought with a price, washed in the blood of Jesus, and made righteous. We should not only claim the God status, but live it. Hallelujah. So not only should you claim the God status, begin to live that status from today in the name of Jesus. And I decree that God's hand will rest upon you. His glory will cover you. The God status in you will begin to emerge in the name of Jesus. Are you blessed this morning? Let's appreciate God. Let's give God glory. Let's praise Him some more this morning. Let's magnify His name. Let's bless His holy name. Thank you, Father, because of the realization that I'm a God in this world. I'm a God to Satan. I'm a God to all the elements of the world. I've been washed. I've been purged. I've been purified. I've been made righteous by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Father. Glory to your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. Now, if you have the communion table set up, we're going to bless the communion right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's present the communion. Please um, take this instruction to heart seriously. Every morning from now until further notice, we will have the communion. So every time you come to this platform, if you don't have anything, get waters, get cookies. Get water, get cookies. Now let's lift it up before the Lord. Heavenly Father, I come before you. This is the communion of the flesh and the blood of Jesus. For everyone under the sound of my voice across the globe, as we partake of this this morning, in the name of Jesus, the same life in Christ, let it begin to flow in us. Let the same life in Christ flow in everyone. In the name of Jesus, let the power that is at work in Christ begin to work in us right now to the glory and honor and praise of your holy name. 
I thank you, Father. I give you praise and glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, whatever is tight, I was talking about somebody's financial tightness. And somebody also, there's a tightness around your heart. I don't know what that is. I feel it. Now, by the, as you take this communion, in the name of Jesus, every tightness, whether in the heart, whether in your finances, in any area, anything that is tight around you, by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, the resurrection power, it sets you free this morning. Every tightness around your life is broken loose. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Now, this morning, shall we partake of it together, the flesh, the blood. Take the remnant of the blood, just pour it all over you. Thank you, Jesus, for the flesh and the blood of Jesus Christ. I thank you and give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, brethren, it's time to take our personal supplication and prayer request. Personal supplication, prayer request. I'll be leading us in personal supplication. Is that same scripture that we read from Psalm 82, verse 6, which says, I have said, ye are gods, all of you are children of the Most High. Now, uh, based on that scripture, we're going to pray like this. Based on that scripture, we're going to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to live by faith, walk by faith, and live triumphantly above sickness, sin, and all the power of the enemy. Well, I was supposed to read Luke 10, 19. Let's read Luke 10, 19. Here's what the Bible says. It says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So, the prayer request again is prayer, personal supplication. Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to live by faith, walk by faith, and live triumphantly above sickness, sin, and all, all, all the power of the enemy. Let me show us that scripture, what it says. So based on this scripture, it says, Behold, I give to you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. Those are the devils and demons. And over all, not some, all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Let's go to prayer right now. Let's begin to pray and say, Father, that is your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to live by faith, walk by faith, live triumphantly above sickness and sin and all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me in the name of jesus according to your word in luke 10 19 i receive the power to live above sickness to live by faith walk by faith and live triumphantly above sickness and sin and all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me in the name of jesus father i receive that grace and i begin to walk this day all through the days of my life, I will walk triumphantly. I will walk by faith. I will live by faith. I will be triumphant above sickness, sin, and every power of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Every trap set for me, I shall escape and I shall live for you. Shine to the glory of your holy name in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness, for your kindness. I give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you blessed this morning? Now, brethren, I see a couple prayer requests. Mama Victoria Bayami says, I receive grace to be able to fulfill my spiritual assignment and to be able to finish well in Jesus' name. Yes, ma'am, that grace is delivered by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall finish well. You shall finish strong to the glory of God the Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, that is your portion in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Now, brethren, if you have prayer requests and praise reports, please type it out there. While I'm waiting, let's quickly take my daily protection covenant declaration. Uh, Psalm, Psalm 91 verses 1 to 16. If you are ready as I am, let's go. Because I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, 
My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the wicked rewarded. Because I made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most time my habitation, there shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. For God shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall I trample under feet. Because I have set my love upon God, therefore will he deliver me, he will set me on high because I have known his name. I shall call upon him. He will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. With long life will God satisfy me and show me his salvation. So shall it be for me and my household today and forever. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. This day goes well for you because you have chosen to honor God. In the name of Jesus and the hand of the Lord God will rest upon you and his glory cover you all this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now this morning, um, I declare over your life that this day goes well. The hand of the Almighty God will go ahead of you and preserve you this day in Jesus' name. Now, a couple of announcements. Um, brethren, this morning we have streamed live on Sonny Adeni Ministries channel on YouTube and Sonny Adeni Ministries page on Facebook. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Click on the subscription and notification bell. If you haven't liked and followed the page on Facebook, like and look for Sonny Adeni Ministries on Facebook. Like it and follow it and you'll be glad you did. Now, everything we've done this morning, studied the word, prayed, made declaration, are all contained in the YouTube channel. In the next 10 minutes, they'll be loaded there. So go take it, use it, share it, and reach out to your friends in the name of Jesus. Remember, we'll meet again tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. In the name of Jesus, the hand of the Almighty God will rest upon you. His glory will cover you this day. This day, you have received the power to triumph. Go and triumph in the name of Jesus. With Jesus' joy this morning, shall we together share the covenant from Psalm 16, verse 11. Let's go. God will show me the path of life. For in his presence is the fullness of my joy. And at his right hand are my players forevermore. Peace, love, and joy. This second one shouted out loud. My glory is here. No loss, no pain, no shame. No loss, no pain, no shame for you in the name of Jesus. And may the hand of the Almighty God rest upon you this day in Jesus' name. This day goes well for you because you have honored God. The glory of the Lord covers you and goes ahead of you in the name of Jesus Christ. We meet again tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. The Lord bless you and cause his face to shine upon you in the name of Jesus. May the peace of the Almighty God rest on you. And finally, I am waiting for your testimony. What do you say? I shall testify in Jesus' name. Let's take it one more time. I am waiting for your testimony. What do you say? I shall testify in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. See you again tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Peace.